Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have done setting up cloth physics for my character's coat or jacket using spring bones. And we will be looking into some issues that I encounter when he is performing the attack animations. The first issue is that the waist cloth is going through the coat. And to fix this, there need to be collision between the coat and the waist cloth. So I'll go to the cloth and add spring collider radius 0 0.05 and then I will assign this spring collider to the spring bone in the coat so this is done for the back so we also do this for the side and also the front of the coat and this should be able to fix this issue the next issue is that the coat seem to lump together when doing the spin which doesn't look good. So I have to adjust the collider in spine 5 by increasing the radius to 0 0.25. And to do this, first go to animation and then select the attack, which is attack 3. I realize that it is read only. So I will have to create a new animation. Go back to attack tree and select all the keys and copy them. Go back to the newly created animation, paste the keys and then go to add property. So I want to look for the spine 5, spring collider and radius and click plus to add the property. And we'll go and look for the spine 5 within the hierarchy. There it is the radius. And you want to add keys to the different time positions whereby the scaling up of the radius will take place. And then click on record to adjust the radius to 0 0.25 for these two timings. And once you've done that, Stop recording, go to project, drag the new attack tree into the animator controller to replace the old one and then set up the transitions. Next up is this issue of the body moving through a coat. Upon closer look, you can see that the character is suddenly moving back by quite a bit. For the first attack and the second attack, the character actually takes a step in front but for the third attack, he suddenly snapped back to his original position and that is why it is happening. So to solve this, we need to use root motion. You click on the character model and go to inspector, rig and there is this root node and I want to choose hips for this character FBX and also for his attack animation which is on a separate FBX. On the animation, you can see that the character's position no longer snap back to the origin after performing the animation. But this is also true for the rotation. So under root transform rotation, you want to make sure that it's selected as original and tick on the bake into pose. So here is the final result of all the issues fixed. So if you find this video helpful and you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.